speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers. And no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the offense. game. We're going to double team them. Really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations. Very tough to do now. You just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs. <laughs> They face first down. <laughs> Escaping the pressure, throws to the right. Escapes oh. the hit. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throws the ball very well on run for the complete. Jamie. First down here. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Mm, and he is down at the 45-yard line. Computer well, guard is on. Game, anytime you cross the 50-yard line, it just gives you confidence that what you're doing is going to work today. Let's see if they can take advantage <laughs> of that and take it on down into the end zone. <clears throat> the defense comes out in the nickel. They better hurry to get the snap. And gains 12. Alfred Morris had a great rookie year for the Washington Redskins. What a surprise he was to the whole NFL with his speed and power. He made big plays. We cannot let offensive players get up the sideline of the NFL. That's where a lot of big plays are made. The defensive end that time, well, he was on the end, and he stopped that run for very little gain. Second down now. RG3. There it is. No, it. Looks what every play is. What a terrible job by the defense that time. Nobody gave him a nice throw. He is wide open down the field. And hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't. Jamie better not look like that. And he'll start his return. Tackles made 11 on 11 action. The 26 yard line. <laughs> Thomas going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. Moreno's handed the football. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to, and also it opens up so many other things for your offense. Look at that. Very Cofield. The coordinators just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. They come out in the dime package. Third down and eight. Very good. Oh, it's Bowen. As much as these guys practice man. during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. It was a bunch of fine returner. No, man, I'm just kidding. I've had my moments. He's going to try and return this oh one. And they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> and Morris is lined up in a single back formation. First and 10. Getting away from the pressure. The throw to the left. Tackled down there goes home. 47. Well, in the NFL, they can't always block those defensive linemen. Good job right. that time by the I quarterback. I think they've read that Avoiding the rush, play by now. Getting so outside the pocket and a beautiful throw on the run. Can I have Garcon? It's first down as they head to the line. First down, throwing again. 
eyeing that left side. And it's thrown incomplete. Position in the backfield here, scrambling out of the pocket. And my, my, my controller was vibrating the whole way down. <laughs> oh, that was well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover two. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. RG3 has it under center. Here it's a third and ten, trying to make something happen. Oh, he's got a oh, wide Lord. open alley. Nice point for block. Jim, when you talk about RG3, you got to worry about <laughs> they, 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 they forgot about me on that play. The field with this offense, but he is so fast. He was fast in college, and he's fast in the NFL. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Running away from the pressure. He'll fire it out to the left. Makes the catch. That was an awesome job Good that catch. time by the quarterback getting out of the pocket. He keeps the play alive and able to throw it down the field for a nice completion. Just call a play. Gosh. 15 minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. down here and the second quarter is underway with this snap the defense gets the sack and this defensive end Jim he is some talent that time good job makes the move shows the speed and gets around there and gets the sack the offensive line gets in position can they protect their quarterback those blockers and the couldn't. <laughs> Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. They connect on that pass play, but it's still third down. Going to take off with it. RG3 going down the field. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Sounds a good read. Third and long, yes. not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Redskins lining up for the field goal. And he puts it through for three. When an offense drives the ball, they always want to get something out of it, get some points. This time, the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives them three. And he begins his return. Oh, all right, left. Steps out of bounds. <laughs> it's a dime look for the defense on this play. First and ten. Peyton Manning looking down the field, but it falls incomplete. Oh, the wide receiver is wide open. That doesn't happen too often in this league where they get behind the defense and the quarterback just throws it off target. Bill, you look at the Denver Broncos and you think about a team that was a number one seed in the AFC playoffs last year but had the all-time heartbreak at the end of that game against Baltimore in the divisional round. When Jacoby Jones got behind the secondary, set the game Jacoby to overtime. Jones got behind the secondary. The season would end in double overtime. You need a little luck sometimes to win a Super Bowl. Or, of course, I'm not saying it was luck for the Baltimore Ravens, but it was unfortunate for the Denver Broncos to give up a play like that in that situation. It happens once, Jim, maybe once every 15 years. It happened last year to Denver Broncos. Throwing now to his left. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Hey, 
Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Delay of game will cost them five. He's really bleeding. Still first down. First and 15 after the penalty. Moreno's going to take the handoff now. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. When you look at the Broncos, uh, obviously Peyton Manning's the strength of this team. What else do you see that you like? Well, the offensive line, that's the first thing that jumps out at me, and I think it's the biggest reason why Peyton Manning went to the Denver Broncos in 2012. He thought, or he knew, that they can protect him, give him time, and when you do that to a good quarterback with experience, you, you don't need great wide receivers to get it done. They're, theirs were pretty good, but the offensive line jumps out at me. Nice tackle. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? That long gain sets them up here on this play. Manning from the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Man intercepted. This defensive coordinator, he is one aggressive dude. He keeps going after this offense, and finally he gets the interception inside uh, their own 20-yard line and stops the offense from getting any points. 